Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janae 21 and this video is going to be all about Marie J Boutique. Yes, it's going to be about my online fashion boutique. And so I have my list, my handy dandy list because I have mommy brain. As y'all know, I am pregnant. But yes, I wanted to definitely do a video about my boutique. Something that has always been my dream ever since I don't know when. So yeah, I'm gonna get more in depth. It's not gonna be a super long video, but it's gonna be a very fun video, you guys. And also I'm gonna show you like a little clip of one of my outfits. My I have regular size and plus size. And so one of my outfits I'm gonna show you since I'm pregnant is gonna be plus size. And let's get right on into it. Okay, you guys, so like I said, I am formally introducing Marie J Boutique and I am the owner, Janae. And like I said, you guys, this has been a dream since I don't know when. Ever since I was a little girl, I remember my mom, my grandmother asked me like, oh, what you want? What you want? Like if we would go shopping, I'd be like, I want some Daisy Dudes. What th four, I don't know, three, four, five year old says they want Daisy Dudes. Like, that is crazy, but I knew then I was into fashion. I love clothes. And ever ever since then, throughout all the years, uh, elementary, I liked clothes, but I definitely didn't know the correlation of style and what goes together. Like, I was a straight girly slash tomboy slash just throw on a t-shirt and have my ponytail puff, honey, and some shorts and some tennis shoes. Like... It was a hot mess. But I mean, who was really styling in elementary? Whatever. And then so to middle school, when I got to seventh grade, I started really like feeling myself, feeling my clothes and stuff like that. So I really made uh, made sure I was, you know, put together nicely, you know. And then in high school, I used to read Vogue. I used to read Seventeen. Um, What else? Ebony. I didn't really like Jet because it was too little. <laughs> Ain't that petty? Yeah, I didn't like the Jet magazine because it was just too little. I'm like, okay, I need something bigger. I, I need to see what they wearing, what they make up, you know? So I used to really ask my mom, like, I'm like, mom, please give me 17 magazine. Please give me, you know, she was a hairstylist anyway, so she had a lot of magazines. So yeah, I got a lot of inspiration, you guys, out of magazines and stuff. And um, what also, like really made me love fashion as well was Top Model, America's Next Top Model by Tyra Banks. Like that whole show, ever since I was a little girl to when I got into high school, out of high school, like I loved it. It taught me and I'm pretty sure me as other girls so much about fashion, about photography, about makeup, about, you know, the industry, different industries, um, and how to be, how to smize. <laughs> but yeah so anyway back to fashion though you guys I just wanted to give you a little bit of background of why I loved fashion so much and also into my family history of fashion um my mom she oh my gosh she was like a trendsetter in her own like in her own like way like my mom I don't know my mom she is so like she ain't gonna say eclectic or eccentric, but my mom, she her style is like so different, but I love it. She works it. It's so cute. And then my dad, he was like, I don't know, like hood uh, fashion or whatever. Not hood fashion, but you know, like street fashion or whatever. You know, or urban street fashion when I was growing up. And then like my grandparents, they were all um, pastors and evangelists and deacons. So like they always stay sharp. My grandmother still wears heels to this day, and she's in her 70s. So you can kind of see that I've always been around style and fashion and makeup and hair. My mom did hair, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was just kind of in me. And so I was just like, let me take this to another level. Let me believe in myself, and let me actually do this. So actually, you guys, I'm going to get into all of uh, what I wrote down so we can keep it going. Okay, so... It says, talk about what? Okay. So, um, my boutique, like I said, is named Marie J Boutique. And that is my first and middle name backwards. So, J uh, Janae Marie is my name. And so, I just flipped it and did Marie J. 
Okay, so Marie J Boutique is a contemporary, um, chic, I say real girly, uh, boutique. So we have regular size and we also have plus size. And so we have an array of colors. So me personally, I love colors. So I cannot have just nude black, white in, you know, in my boutique. That's just not me. I love color. I love, you know, all that extraness. So I have dresses on um, in my boutique. I have um, shoes, some heels in my boutique. And I also have like jumpsuits, two-piece sets. And so I really, I can't wait to, you know, expand to um, accessories like purses and um, sunglasses. I can't wait to expand to like a little bit of makeup as in like some lashes some lip gloss some lipstick so that is soon to come definitely and i want to get some jeans soon like literally my brand is a baby and i cannot wait to just you know grow this little baby honey into an empire so like i said marie j boutique is really girly really pink really uh fluffy <laughs> like me very vibrant i have neon greens pinks honey i have all of that oranges royal blues color you know colors in my boutique and so i, I really like it you know i wanted it to represent me um and the girly girl i am you know because there's a lot of girls like me that love colors that love you know it's 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 chic and it's also um you know, simple, you know, some of my items are, you know, va va boom, but some of them are like very simple and still sexy. Yeah, Marie J Boutique is definitely sexy, you guys. And it's crazy because our, my motto when I started this boutique is I want to make sure women feel good from the inside out and express that with their clothing. So if you don't feel good inside, what makes you think that person's going to dress nice? You know, and you're not going to have a good day. You're not going to have a good life if you're not feeling good and, you know, good with yourself inside. So what I do is every customer that I have, they're called Marie J girls. So every customer I have, I make sure I let them know and, you know, all their packages or whatever, all their purchases that they are enough, that they are beautiful, you know, that you can do whatever you want to do. You are enough. And so I just want to make sh that woman feel confident in within themselves. And then they can express that in Marie J clothing. So that's definitely what my why is. To help every single woman that comes across me that, you know, shops at my boutique, make them feel good. And so, yeah, I think that's like my purpose. <laughs> and I feel like I attract so many women. And it's just like, okay, I have to... Like, I have to do something with this gift that I have, you know, with because I like I see something um, and I will put something together and then I'd be like, oh, my God, this will look so good on da, 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 da. And it's just like that whole style and vision piece. Like, I can't ignore it anymore. Like, I can't. So I had to start my boutique. I was like, I have to start somewhere. And I was scared. Oh, my God, I was scared. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. I will get to that in a second. Okay. Why I started my boutique. So, like I said, I started my boutique to help other women feel confident. Feel confident from within on expressing that on the outside with their clothing. Um, and thus far, and thus far, it is going very well. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Who, supporting me who has supported me thus far thank you guys so much and all of them say that they feel good they feel beautiful you know so that's good um i started what happened was i went to college so when i went to college i was in it oh my god i was in like the medical field which i hated and so i switched out i talked to uh, one of my gu guidance counselors and they was like oh what would be your dream once you get out of school? And I was like, oh my God, my ultimate dream would be at a fashion runway in the background helping with fashion and da, da, da. And she was like, oh my God, if you like fashion, you're in the wrong, 
you know, you're in the wrong major. You need to go into a pair of merchandising, da 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 Because I told her, I was like, well, I'm not, I don't want to stitch nothing. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to draw nothing. And she was just like, oh, it's okay, honey. We have a major for what you want to do. So that's basically how I got into um, the field of fashion um, through school or whatever. And before that, I worked at retail and I loved it. So I just love being around clothes. I do. I, I just love, I just love clothes. Point blank and period. Um, so yeah, I graduated with an apparel merchandising degree and I graduated with a minor in business. So I know a little bit of the business side, but really, um, my major is with the business side of the industry, of the fashion industry. So, and then once I graduated, I worked at Victoria's Secret for a few years and I also worked as a manager at JCPenney. So yeah, I've been in retail since I was 18 years old. <sighs> 10 years, you guys. <laughs> so I know a little something about the industry, honey. All right. Oh, where are we? Okay, so when I knew it was time to actually go for it, go for my dream for Marie J Boutique, I was, um, well, how old was I? It was probably like two years ago. Yeah, in like 2017 when I was pregnant with my daughter, I was just like, I have to do this. I do not, I do not want to be working somebody else's dream for the rest of my life. And, and then not knowing, you know, five years from now where I would be if I would have chose my own dream. So I told myself, I was like, okay, get prepared, you know, research everything that you got to research. Start with YouTube, Google, wherever you have to start. Start somewhere. And you know what? Um, side note, what really helped me. Uh, face my fears with that because you know you you know when you don't know something you have fear and it's just like when you necessarily don't believe in yourself with that with your dream because you know you ain't never had to really do something for your dream it was just kind of like scary and so what I did in 2017 I just really just started watching some YouTube videos some entrepreneurs that already had their own businesses I just watched a few um, just to kind of get my feet wet, then I started like doing research and stuff like that because I wanted to do everything correct. I didn't want to do anything haphazard and I was putting my name on it for the world to see. So, um, when I was telling myself, I was like, once my baby drop, I'm going to really take this full throttle. So she, uh, <laughs> what's my baby drop? So once I had my baby at the end of 2017, at the beginning of 2018, I was, you know, starting to really research. I was watching, um... To give me inspiration and courage, you know, and that motivation and that fire. Like, I already had the fire, but, like, you know, you scared. So, it's just, like, any little thing would, like, kind of tear you away. Like, oh, okay, I knew it would. But it was like, no. I kind of had, like, made up in my mind, like, no. Nothing's going to turn me back from what I'm trying to do in my future life. So, I was trying to do laws of attraction, y'all. I was like, no negativity in my head. <laughs> So what I was watching, so who I was watching was, I don't know if you guys know her, Gia Monet. Uh, her name is Jackie. Um, she's based out of California. She has her boutique called Gia Monet. She said she's been in the game, I believe, for six, six years, I believe. And so she has storefronts, brick and mortars. And now I follow her on Instagram. And now she is just strictly online. And she has encouraged me a lot about the game. Just, you know, a lot of great information. You guys check her out. Also, another girl named Ming Lee. She's not in the fashion, fashion industry. She's in the hair industry. But just a lot of her entrepreneur, entrepreneurial tips really helped me and like really just motivated me like I watched her videos like crazy because I was just like this girl is so dope and I literally been following Ming um shoot since I was back in college so I was following her back in like 2012 2013 and she is it was so funny because Instagram wasn't popping like that back then so it was like I was watching on YouTube for some of her YouTube videos, and then she like left the scene, and I was like, "Where'd she go?" This, you know, she had her own hair salon. She had products. She was selling hair. Like the girl was doing her thing, and that really motivated me. 
um, to continue also. And I think it was another person who motivated me. But those are the two people I was really kind of like watching or whatever, just to kind of like help me through my fear of starting my business. Um, who else? I can't think of nobody else right now. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, those are the two main ladies um, that helped me. Okay. Okay, you guys. So what I started to do to start actually planning for a launch, my original launch date was going to be June 2018 because I was just like, summer is like my jush. I, I love the summertime. So I was like, I have to launch in the summertime because I don't really care for fall and winter like that. Fall and winter fall and winter clothes are cool, but it was just like, I love the summer because I love being, you know, look, just, you know, I love being naked. So, <laughs> so I was like, I have to, you know, I, I just got to start in the summer. And so you guys starting your own business is a lot, a lot of planning, a lot of money and a lot of patience, honey. Okay. So I didn't even launch in June. I launched in August. <laughs> Two months later. And so what I did was I started in about back in like February, March, um, researching everything about what I had to do to actually have a legit business, have a license, have a seller's permit, um, how much money I need for da 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 getting my domain, um, getting a business bank account, honey, not a not your bank account and put stuff in there. No, give me the everything needs to be separate from your personal, honey. And so I had to figure out if I wanted like an LLC or a sole proprietorship or it's all kind of stuff out there, y'all. And I was like, oh my God, this is a lot. And so literally from like March, I say like March, April, all the way to August, like I was just, oh, another thing you guys would help me with. I literally wrote everything down in one of my books, what I had to do to actually launch my business. That was like, and I had literally, I had two things to do or like, I didn't want to put so much pressure on myself because this is something that I wanted to do. So I wanted to feel comfortable. So I literally put one goal per week. April or March all the way down to when I was supposed to launch in June. And you guys, let me tell you, that helped me tremendously writing down a goal. And so only would write, like like I said, one or two goals for the entire week. And I would try to stick to that as best as I could because that means, you know, stuff is getting done. I'm checking a lot of stuff off, getting me prepared to launch my business for the world. And so... And I stuck to it. It was probably like one week where I didn't do any goals because I was just so drained and exhausted. But I got right back to it. And I told myself, Janae, nobody's going to do this for you. If you want this, if you want to be your own boss, if you want to be your, uh, an entrepreneur, if you want to be financially independent, uh, you need to go get, get up and do it. So that, like, I had to keep talking to myself, you guys. It was so many times throughout that whole course of that 2018 where I was just like, can I really do this? Is people really going to buy for me? Is people really going to believe in me? Is, you know, like, is, am I really going to sell? Am I going to be, you know, a whole lot of doubt, a whole lot of fear, a whole lot of negativity. And then, like, I would kind of jump back out of that, like, F it. I don't care. I'm still going to do this. Let me, let me just do and see what I can, how far I can go. So I know like, man, I did that instead of saying like, oh man, I wish I should have, could have. I didn't want to do that. And I knew I had talent. I knew I had a degree in it. I knew I had the vision. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had the heart. So I'm like, yes. I'm going to do this and I'm going to believe in myself and people go, <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah. So sometimes you just got to talk to yourself, y'all in that mirror and be like, nah, if this is what you want, if this is what you's about, you talking about this been in your life this whole time, then go ahead and show up. And that's what I did, y'all. And so, <laughs> and so I launched August 11th, woo -woo, which is today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this video on my one year anniversary, you guys, of Marie J Boutique. That was so intentional. And you guys, I am right here to say, yes, you guys, 
if I can do it, you can do it. And like I said, with all that doubt, mm -mm. just throw it on at the window, plan for what you want, make sure, you know. Oh, and another thing, you guys, it's a whole money aspect. A lot of, be like, a lot of people be like, I don't have the money. Da -da -da -da. You guys, I did not have the money either. I literally started from what I had and like any extra money I have for my paychecks, I put it towards my business. That's what I did. And I'm not trying to say that I, you know, had a whole lot of money starting off. I started really, really small. I literally started with, I think, almost 10 pieces. Not, I'm not saying 10 pieces together. I'm talking about 10 outfits. So that's like, like what, 60 pieces? No, probably not 60. Because some of the pieces wasn't six pieces. It was like three pieces. But anyway, I had, I had about about 40 to probably 50 pieces starting off I believe I can't remember you know you guys verbatim but um because they come in a six pack but I had you know a lot of people they probably would have been like oh I'm not gonna start with only four outfits you know four to five outfits I'm starting with 20 outfits you know that's to each his own you know but I had to do what I had to do to start somewhere or I wasn't gonna start and I'm like I'm about to start <laughs> So, yeah, you guys, like, I just wanted to just kind of give you guys some encouragement saying that you, you can do it. Whatever your dream is, you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Talk to yourself every day and take action every day. Write down in the planner, you know, what you want to do and how to get to your end goal. So, yes, you guys, like I said, this is one year I've been in business. And I have learned so much in this year. I have so far to go as well. Like right now, I'm about to do some of my taxes. But you guys, it's been a great journey. And I'm looking forward to even more journeys. Um, I'm looking forward to more Marie J. Girl shopping for me. I am looking forward to me growing as a boss and a businesswoman. I am looking forward to solely one day, literally leaving a nine to five, to solely work for myself. Claim it. Because I... <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Um, like I said, I just want to motivate you. I want you to go out and do what you want to do. And you can do it. Um, so yeah, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Like I said, this is the official Marie J Boutique video. And also, I need to show you a clip real quick of one of my outfits so stay tuned bye you guys